Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield's Food Review. Today, we are trying Dairy Queen's brand new Casey Barbecue Bacon Cheeseburger. If you get this at lunchtime, it's $5. Otherwise, it's a lot more, apparently. It's like seven bucks with fries and a small drink. So that's what we're having today. It's got white onion, pickles, burger, American cheese, barbecue sauce and bacon. But it's supposed to be a special Kansas City barbecue sauce. So let's go ahead and give it a, give it a whirl. Make sure you bite the side with the barbecue sauce. Oh, it's good. A lot of onion. I like onion. It was a bit much in that bite. I think I had half of a full onion. This is just a bacon cheeseburger. There's no doubt about that. The selling point of this is supposed to be the barbecue sauce. It's not that distinct. It's just it's barbecue sweet sauce. Barbecue sauce. It sure is. Fuck face. I will say I always, I really like the combination of barbecue and bacon. Mm -hmm. The salty and the sweet really goes together for me. But as far as this being something out of the ordinary or extraordinary for that matter, certainly not for the price. No. I mean, because what do you think? The fries and the drink were maybe like two, three bucks. So this burger is a four dollar burger. That ain't a four dollar. I like the bun. I was about to say that. The bun's good. It's very dense though. I really like when the onion was on it. I just didn't like that I got it all in one bite. Seeing as how this is essentially the selling point to the sandwich, hamburger sandwich. Well, it's just their bacon cheeseburger with this Kansas City barbecue on it. No, I, I wonder if anyone's gonna remember this. What it reminds me of. And this is actually a good thing because it was one of my favorite sandwiches growing up. I keep saying sandwiches. It was one of my favorite burgers as a kid. But there was a hamburger in the 90s called like the McJordan burger. It was during the um, Summer Olympics when they had the dream team, the the NBA basketball dream team with Michael Jordan, you know, Larry Bird, Matt Johnson, all that. And part of the campaign, McDonald's had a burger almost exactly like that. Because that burger actually tastes a little bit oh, like yeah. a like, um, quarter pounder-ish. Mm -hmm. And it was exactly that with bacon, um, cheese, onion, pickle, and then a barbecue sauce. Hmm. And that you, I'll, I'll find a picture of it. I'm gonna post a picture right here. This is actual McJordan barbecue sauce that somebody bought recently because it was like so beloved. So like the more I think of it that way, the more I like this. Mm -hmm. So it's like, a, a, it reminds me of that. But it, as far as a standalone, like being a food, food, being a food critic, I have to say it was underwhelming and um, it was fine, but it didn't seem like anything you couldn't get there that you couldn't just go ahead and add like, oh, can I have a side of barbecue sauce? It would be the exact same thing. So it wasn't, it didn't seem like it was tailor-made for that barbecue sauce. It wasn't like a special thing in itself. It was just, hey, here's one of our burgers. It's a KC masterpiece. We're gonna give this 2.5 Michael Jordans out of five. It's right in the middle. I mean, it's a fine burger, but for the price point and what you're getting and what it is, it seems like it's essentially, they were like, we need something new. Put that on here, brand new. Either way, I don't know, try it if you want. If you want to relive the glory days of the 90s with Michael Jordan and barbecue sauce, this might be the way to go. Or you could just put barbecue sauce in any hamburger you get. I don't know, that's an option too. And let us know your feelings about food and life in general. It's okay, we'll wait. Can't wait to read that. So thank you for watching. Please like, favorite, subscribe, and hey, oh, I'd also like to wish everyone a uh, happy 2016. It's going to be a great year. And also a very special happy birthday to Tina Gonzalez. You have a cool mom. Thanks. Until next time.